Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to <coughs> correctly use Turbo Smooth in 3ds Max. So, open up the mod the uh, Max file OS example to start with, and if you just have a look at the model, you see we've got a quite kind of low poly bumper for a car here. So, obviously, if you wanted to have more detail on this, you could use Swift Loop and then kind of position in more loops uh, but obviously that's going to be quite a long process so a better way is to actually mesh smooth or turbo smooth your model so if you browse in your modifier list and add a turbo smooth you'll see straight away it's added a lot of extra detail to our model and that's great um, obviously not so useful for game models because um, your poly count goes a lot higher in Turbo Smooth, you can set your iterations here. So if we put that up to two, you'll see we have even more detail. Let's use F4 on my keyboard there to switch between. And you can even go really high, but really for a game model, you're never really going to go above more than, um, go really any higher than one. You might go to two in special circumstances, I suppose. Now, obviously, though, if we look at this, you'll see there's not really much definition in each of our kind of ri um, ridged areas. And this is because of the way Turbo Smooth works. So if I come down to my Edit Poly here, and then press F4 to go to Smooth and Wireframe mode, <coughs> and then just turn on there, you'll see what Turbo Smooth actually does. It takes the each vertice, so this vertex and say so this vertex, and smooths between them. So this one, this one, and this one, it will smooth to make a curve between those three. So in order to get a kind of defined edge you need to make sure you have a very small distance between your vertices. So let's just, well actually we'll go to edge mode and we'll go to swift loop and we'll just add in one line there <coughs> and one line there. Now we know that that curve is going to go to there and this curve is going to go to here. So if we preview that by using the show end result, you can see that we're getting a better way. If you really want to preview it properly, you can just come up here. And there we go, now we're getting a proper, properly defined edge. If you use Control Z, I'll undo putting in the cuts, you can really see how much of a difference putting in those edges has made. Obviously what it's done though is actually increase the polygon count because we added in more edges there. <coughs> you can actually turn off this, this cage preview and it's this one here. So you can actually just preview it straight in here without having to go up. We'll turn off the preview and let's have a look at this one down here. So we'll preview it. Again we want that to be a nice defined ridge. So we'll go to swift loop and we'll add in a cut there and there. Again, preview that. You can use Control Z to undo, and you can really see the difference that adding in those cuts make. So that's the kind of way you need to work with with Turbo Smooth. Uh, I call these smooth lines, basically. So it's all about adding in those extra smooth lines to get that definition. Uh, one way to think about it is for every kind of curved point you'll want a point either side of that one to define the amount of curve. So I could even add in one here, see if that makes any difference, remember undo and redo and you can see the difference. <coughs> And if I wanted one going all the way around here, around this edge, you'll see it doesn't actually, uh, Swift Loop won't actually do that. So there's a couple of ways to do it, because it's registering the loop going all the way around here. You can either select the individual edges, and then you'll see minus select off the ones you don't want. Well, you can see it's taken a lot a lot there for that. Then you can actually go around and select 
where you want them to loop. So one thing I prefer to do is actually minus select because it can be a lot faster than adding to selection. So and also I do something like use move just to move it out, make sure you've got everything you want. And then you can use the connect tool here to actually add in another loop. If I hit connect I can obviously slide kind of in and out. where we want it to go. Now if we check our Turbo Smooth you see we've got a better result on there. And that's pretty much how you go about using the Turbo, Turbo Smooth modifier.